Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for all signs, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that in the description down below. Another thing you do is we also have memberships on the channel, so you go ahead and join, become a member, get access to all those perks. Okay? Two cards for the collective. You have number 18, Blessings from the Son of Hanapasha, and number 26, The Beautiful Place. So these two cards put together here. You know that thing that you've been really wanting to do in your life, or maybe it's even multiple things? You are having that opportunity to do what it is you desire. Like that That's part of your destiny to do that, but you're having this blessing to really, you know, do it. Okay, so whether that be going somewhere, whether that be with someone, you know, do whatever it is. Whatever your dream is, you're going to be doing it. And that's a big blessing from the universe here. So let's do Aries. So blessings coming to the sign of Aries. Let's get to the sign of... So we have the tower wanting to come out. We'll take that. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Star, which is Aquarius, and we have the Tower, which is Scorpio. Alright, so unexpectedly your dreams happen, and unexpectedly someone uh, from your past comes back up. Alright, this is a person that you've been wanting back in your life. Scorpio, Aquarius, or Water. Unexpectedly things happening that you've been wanting to happen, basically, Aries. We have sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So yeah, you definitely do have the sun shining on you here, Aries. Okay? Business-wise, career-wise, relationship-wise, you know, all of that. A lot of positivity coming your way. You have spirit. Heavenly assistance from your angels and guides, okay? You have spirit bringing in this blessing in your life, bringing in these blessings, okay? Bringing in your dreams. They are happening, making it possible here. Make sure you say thank you. You have strength. This is taking a lot of strength to do, and you have spirit sending strength your way, okay? To really make those things possible in your life. Hmm. Number 50, Angel of Strength. So we have Angel of Strength and Strength. So once again, it's more confirmation of what I'm saying here. Angels sending you strength. Angels sending you blessings. Angels having the sun shine on you. Angels making your life um, the way you want it to be. And it all happens very unexpectedly. Okay? So let's do Taurus. So blessings coming to the sign of Taurus. you have cards that are very similar <laughs> to Aries. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Emperor, which is Aries. Six of Cups. So some of you may have Aries placements or there's an Aries in your life. Okay, it's very possible. But business-wise, things are going to be doing good for you. Career-wise, things are going to be doing good for you. All right, Emperor, Ace of Pentacles. And very strongly... There could be an Aries coming back into your life, or someone with Aries placement. Six of Cups, the Emperor. Okay. Love life. Okay. So this is in terms of love. 
Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Okay, tour so very soon. Feels like your love life's gonna be, you know, doing good, and it feels like either an Aries or someone with Aries placements. Okay. So. Yeah, the triple spiral. Listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons, okay? So that is something that you've been doing here throughout life, especially as of lately. Boundaries. Okay. So Taurus, looks like you've been learning a lot of lessons here, and you've been learning to set up boundaries. Maybe setting up boundaries with this particular person here. Either way, you're setting up those boundaries, okay? You're kind of doing your own thing. You're in your emperor power, all right? Number 31 with door to value. That door for money is really open for you, Taurus. Okay. That door for money, that door for love. You're setting your boundaries. This is a good reading here, okay? You're really stepping into that boss energy, okay? That energy of the emperor. So take advantage of it. So let me, let me plug in my computer. Okay, so let's move on to the sign of Gemini. So blessings coming to the sign of Gemini. You have the Four of Cups wanting to come out, but it's in reverse. Okay. Which these cards are upright, so it came out in reverse for a reason. you okay we have the temperance card which is Sagittarius three of cups four of cups in reverse okay so I see a reunion happening with someone who is a Sagittarius or someone who has Sagittarius placements but that's up to you and whether or not you pass that up or you take that opportunity, whether this be as a friend, a lover, family, whatever they are, okay? So that's honestly up to you. Four of Cups being in reverse, Three of Cups upright, Temperance. A lot of things you've been waiting for, Gemini, are coming into your life. Which causes some celebration there, because hey, that's always good. We have health. An excellent time to start an exercise program or diet. Many new friendships are on the horizon. So it can even be your health here, Gemini. Okay? Your health improving, things you've been waiting for, you know, news you've been waiting for, it comes in as positive. Okay? Prosperity. A props. Yeah. A prosperous business with riches and success. This is all coming up ahead for you, Gemini. Okay, health, prosperity, business, you know, uh, reunions, all of that. I forgot to put makeup on. <laughs> Just realized that. Justice. Okay, so there's justice being brought into the situation, Gemini. Okay, things are becoming more balanced. There's karma going wrong. And you 
are on the you know the good side of it. All right, so you're going to be having the benefits from this justice here. Number nine, broken heart. Okay, so Gemini, if you've had a broken heart, you're getting justice in that situation. Whatever hurt you, whoever hurt you, karma is being brought into that. Okay, and you're having more prosperity. You're having, you know, all this success, all this wealth, you know, all this health improving, reunions, you know, love, all that sort of stuff. Okay, because there's something there that was done that was not right. So let's do Cancer. So blessings coming to the sign of Cancer. Cancer. Okay. We have Judgment. We have the Moon. This can be seen as your own card because your ruling planet is the moon. And the Wheel of Fortune. Overall, your life improving here, Cancer. Alright, and I feel like that that's like the effects of this last full moon. Okay, that we had on the 20th. Things that you've been asking for in your life is coming into your life. Okay, things that you've been praying for, it's coming. That is all unknown to you currently. It's not something that you can see. You also might have someone returning to you if that's what you've been wanting. Okay. That's only if you've been wanting that. If you don't want it, then, you know, don't claim it. We have intuition. Trust your intuition. It's a great time to learn a new skill, change careers, or invest money. So, Cancer, your intuition can be really heightened here. You need to listen to that. Okay, you're going to be guided towards certain places or certain people, okay? And you're going to be guided towards what really improves your life. You're having this intuition of what's coming. We have Felix... Let's fit something long word. Power symbol to create lucky serendipitous events. Okay, look at that, Cancer. The Wheel of Fortune, this card. Okay, I feel like you have this intuition, but things are going to look up for you. Your your luck is going to be really good. It's going to be turning up. You know, maybe it's been down, but hey, look at that. Lucky. That's going to be your life. Lucky. Maybe even play the lottery, Cancer. <laughs> we have prosperity, just as I say that. So maybe. But prosperity, okay, luck. And this is all something that you feel coming towards you. Everything you've been wanting is coming into your life. Number 43 with man holding a coin. Cancer, that's what I really feel for you. Like, I think you should go, you know, play the lottery or something. Because I feel like you're going to have this really lucky event where you end up getting a lot of money. Okay, you end up getting a lot of, you know, you're like being very prosperous. And that's something that you've been asking for. Okay? That's definitely what I feel for you. Like, you have some event coming. Okay, that not, not everybody has that opportunity where it really improves your life. Okay, there's a lot of prosperity, there's a lot of money, you know, it's it's like very, it's very big. So let's do Leo. So blessings coming to sign of Leo. Blessings coming to sign of Leo. Wait, you got... Mm. 
We have the Four of Wands, Five of Cups, Lovers, Leo. That person that you've been missing, that lover, whether that was officially or not, coming back into your life. Okay, because it's like you've been missing one another, and that's because you are twins. Whether you're aware of that or not, whether they're aware of that or not, maybe they are. But either way, that person's coming back in. Definitely do feel like this person, they have a lot of feelings for you, Leo. They definitely do miss you, you know, it's like, feeling is mutual between one another. You have jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. Look at that. Leo, you have a relationship here that people are jealous of okay for whatever reason they're jealous of you being with this person oops we got too many cards flying out let me just take a couple Okay. So we have insight. Opens the third eye to strengthen intuition. We have self confidence, strong self belief, and a sense of worth. Protection. Strong protective magic for the family and home. Okay, Leo. So you're having this insight on this, this whoever's jealous of you, right? But you are being protected from their negative energy. The negative energy that they try to send you away, you're being protected from that, okay? Um, and you also feel more confident about yourself as we go through September and October, which is really good. You have lighten your load. So Leo, you also I what I feel for you, actually, is you're removing people like this from your life. You're removing people who are jealous of you. You're removing people who are jealous of your relationships. You know, that is something that you're releasing this burden of from your life. Okay? So that your relationship can flourish. Number 10 was Storm Warning. I feel like once again there's that envious. So you do have a bit of a warning from this. You are having instincts of it, but however, it is going to be removed from your life. Okay, these jealous people. So that this, this person that you're wanting to be with, so that you guys can be together. Alright, that blockage is being removed. So, let's move on to the sign of Virgo. So, blessings coming to the sign of Virgo. Virgo. Hmm. This is interesting. So, we have the Five of Swords. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, so overall your money increasing, your money doing really well, but I also see people giving you a hard time about your money, like trying to get in the way of it for some reason, or there's some sort of issue there, okay, that someone tries to give you a hard time about getting money or, or doing something with money, right? Uh, I think you'll be fine, but do prepare for that. Of reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Okay? 
maybe reflecting upon who or what's in your life, who is giving you troubles, who's not, you know, what's good and what's not good. We have Trinka 5. Manifesting money and income. Once again, I think your money is about to do really good here. Ace of Pentacles in this card. That's really good, Virgo. Really good money coming your way. And we got love. So there's also love there. Alright. Love and money. Number three, with blossoming abundance. Overall, overall, your life being abundant. Okay? Love, money, all this stuff you're manifesting into your life. Alright? So let's move on to the sign of Libra, which, by the way, happy birthday, all Libras, as we move into your season more. So what blessings coming to the sign of Libra? Five of Wands in reverse. No more drama here. You're probably going to have a very similar reading to Leo. Some of you may have Leo placements for dealing with the Leo. We have Four of Wands. Six of Swords. Five of Wands of Verse. Okay, so the drama of... You're shifting here, Libra. You're shifting away from drama. People, okay, people that, you know, all that... You know, all that stuff you don't need. Moving away from that. And look with this. So you have drama being removed from your life, you have drama being removed from situations around love, you have drama being removed from situations around your twin, okay? Four of Wands, the Six of Swords, Five of Wands reverse. Like I feel like blockage is being removed there. Two cards wanting to come out. We have wisdom to focus on the past as lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. We have opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared to dress and prepared and dress to impress. Okay, opportunities coming up your way here, Libra. All right, big opportunities. You're gonna have an important decision. You have like some big opportunity coming your way where it's you're gonna think about it for a while like should I do this or shouldn't I okay that could be something in business that could be something at home you know that could be travel that could be love that could be many different things but it's something quite important coming your way yeah love charm attract a lover soulmate or life partner so like I was saying, I feel like Libra <laughs> Your love life is about to improve. Okay, and for a lot of you, you already know this person, you already know who your twin is. Okay. The drama there is being removed, the drama there is no longer there. You're having a lot of good opportunities with this. You also have friendship. So you got love, you got friendship, you know, all that good stuff. Number 
36 second chakra archangel Ariel. So you can go at, you can look up that chakra and that angel to learn more, but you have this angel with you. And this is supposed to be like the sacral chakra, which is the chakra of creativity and intimacy. All right, Libra. Now, feels like you're gonna be working with that more. What can help you with that is meditation frequencies. There's also gems that help work with that, which I do sell gems for that. But yes, I feel like opportunities to, you know, express your creativity, opportunities for love here, all right? And I see you being in a committed relationship, something long-term. So let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. Blessings coming to the sign of Scorpio. Someone gets unblocked. We have seven of pentacles. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. First off, Scorpio, money really picking up for you, investments really paying off here. All right, you being more recognized in work, career is going to be doing really well for you. All right, I see that heavily. Like things you've been working towards, they're going to be paying off for you big time. All right. Planning. Yeah, planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. So there's a lot of planning up ahead for the future here, Scorpio. All right, Seven of Pentacles. Definitely does feel like that. Ace of Pentacles. Planning up ahead, you know, in career. Um, you also got someone planning to do something with you here. Planning to grow with you. So, something about that. Whether it be an actual love or business. You'll figure it out. We have a labyrinth. Transition to a higher level of being, raising your energetic vibration, enlightenment. Oh, look at that. Scorpio, you're really raising up here. Okay, you're raising your vibration. You're becoming more enlightened here. Okay. Transformation. Okay. So yeah, that is a big transformation that's taking place here, is your vibration. You're, you're going to a higher vibration here, Scorpio. Okay? Very, very high. From lower to very, very high. Or from high to very, very high. You get the point, right? That's a big transformation taking place in your life. All right, now there's a lot of planning up ahead for what you're going to be doing for your future. Number 45 with man holding a heart. Okay. So like I said, there is someone here planning to do something with you. Now with this man holding a heart card, that's that's confirmation of that. Uh, so someone, it doesn't have to be a man. It can be a female with very masculine energy. And like I said, I feel like, like what I was getting when I was shuffling your cards. Hmm is that I feel like it's someone who becomes unblocked here. There's a lot of transformation taking place as your vibration raises. Their vibration is already high. Okay. There's a lot of planning up ahead, and I feel like maybe that's in business ventures, but this person does have some sort of emotional feelings for you. So you working together? So let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So blessings coming to the sign of Sagittarius. Sag. 
stairs. You got a lot of people watching you. Living your life. We have the Knight of Wands. The Emperor. Which is Aries. And the Ten of Swords. So there are some things ending here. We're going to find out more on what exactly this is. Um, but the Emperor. Knight of Wands. You know what that tells me? You're going from a Knight to the Emperor. Sag. Okay? There's a massive evolution that you're facing right now. And I feel like that's actually what this Ten of Swords is. Okay? It's ending of being the knight, becoming the emperor, okay, I feel like that's what you're doing, business, gonna be doing really well for you, the emperor always signifies that, we have opportunities wanting to come out, a lot of opportunities coming your way, I feel like that's in business. I feel like overall, a lot of opportunities just coming to you in general. And these opportunities are quite good for you, Sag. Change. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You're restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. There's a lot of changes happening here, Sagittarius. Ten of Swords. However, these are positive changes. Changes in career, changes in yourself, changes in residence, you know, so on. Confidence. Yes, definitely does feel like that. As you move into the Emperor energy, you are feeling more confident. Okay? Definitely. Sagittarius, another thing I want to tell you is that Aries readings start might start resonating for you more than your own Sagittarius readings because you're coming out as the Emperor, which is Aries. Whether you have Aries placements or not does not matter. Number 12, the Temple Path. Look at that. This is all quite spiritual that's happening here. Okay, you're going down the spiritual path where there's a lot of changes happening. You're becoming more confident. This is a uh, big transformation that is happening in your life, Sagittarius. It's something that's quite spiritual. Okay. There's a mosquito. So let's move on to the sign of Capricorn. So blessings coming to the sign of Capricorn. We got the two of cups wanting to come out, so we will take that. Okay. And we have the two of cups, three, 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 four of swords, eight of pentacles, Capricorn. I keep wanting to say other signs, but Capricorn, a love situation that's been on break, picks up. Four of Swords, Two of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, or if your love life just been on break, period. Love's coming into your life. Um, I also see you resting more, but making more money. It's another interesting thing. Four of Swords with the Eight of Pentacles. You're going to have people be more generous to you. Now, that's normally what, not what that card means, but... This is a different tarot deck, and I read things very differently. Manifestations. A bountiful time awaits you. Your wishes can manifest right before your eyes. Capricorn, I'm feeling like over overwhelmed with joy. You know, it's kind of like a giddy energy, but what you've been trying to manifest, manifest, you understand, love, money, business, career, you know, all that, it is finally coming into reality. Ever with wings, fantastic good fortune and lucky chances, Capricorn, look at that. 
want you to look at that. Fantastic good fortune. That's what's coming up your way. Peace. You're having a more sense of peace in your life, which definitely does feel like that. Okay, with all these cards here, not so much stress, more peace. Not so much tension, more peace. Number 44 with woman holding a heart, okay? So, woman holding a heart. I keep wanting to say Scorpio, Sagittarius. Maybe some of you have those placements or there's one around you. Um, but, woman holding a heart. So you're going to have someone here with feminine energy, whether it be a female or not. Okay, they can be a man with very female energy, but reaching out to you with that two of cups. Okay? Also, Cancer. So, let's move on to the sign of Aquarius. So, Blessings coming to the sign of Aquarius. Manifesting. We have the King of Cups, which is water. The Emperor, which is Aries. 3727. The Magician. Honestly, Aquarius, you manifesting what you want into your life, okay? Whether that be a person, King of Cups, the Emperor, water, Aries, or business. Can't even be both. But that is what you're manifesting into your life. Okay? Magician, the Emperor, King of Cups. So definitely does feel like more on business or a person or both. Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy in a troubled free existence. Aquarius, you're having major life changes happening with this, okay? These are obviously positive though with these cards. On target, follow your ideal life path. So you're following your ideal life path with this, okay, with what you're manifesting with these major life changes, right? Just because things are changing doesn't mean that, you know, you're on the wrong path. You are on the right path. It's just you're evolving. Animals. Something about animals here. I don't know if you have a very strong connection to animals or if there's something about an animal there. Like, I don't know. I think you'll figure it out, though. <laughs> Number 34, door to personal healing and happiness. Oh my god, Aquarius. So that door for you being happy, that door for you healing, is now going to be open. Alright? So let's move on to the sign of Pisces, and that will be the last sign. So blessing is coming to the sign of Pisces. You got love coming in and you 
We have the Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Pisces. You have a very good love connection relationship coming up your way. But I see you ignoring this person, kind of rejecting it, and you know, still looking for love, but it's it's right there in your face, but you're still refusing to acknowledge this person in your life. Okay, I see like a very equal give and take relationship coming up your way. But five of pentacles tells me that you're you're not seeing it. You're kind of rejecting it. Ignoring this opportunity. But still wanting love. Which is kind of interesting or whatever. You have assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. So Pisces, really asserting yourself, okay? Going for what you want in your life. Whatever that may be. Power symbol. Cleanse, purify, and protect the physical body. Okay, so big powerful symbol. Power symbol here. There's going to be a lot of cleansing. There's going to be a lot of purifying happening physically. Freedom. You're feeling more free here, Pisces. Okay? You're feeling a lot more lighter. You're really going for what you want. Number 28 with victory, and that leads to success. Okay? So, success is coming into your life, freedom, you really, you know, going for that. You have some major accomplishment coming your way. Some major achievement that you've really pushed yourself towards. Alright? So, that is all we have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.